please welcome to the stage General Manager of Networking at the Linux Foundation, Arpit Joshi Pura. All right. Good morning, welcome. I know folks are still walking in. And uh, we're going to start on time and end on time, as, as usual, with all the ONSs. So uh, I'm really excited. Thank you all for coming. Before we get started, let's just walk through a few logistics and, and housekeeping things. Uh, nothing can happen without our sponsors, so thank you very much to the Diamond sponsor, Ericsson, Intel, Lean and FE, and Open Networking Foundation, as well as our platinum sponsor, Alibaba Cloud and Huawei. Um, I would point out that the programming of this event has been even harder than last year. We had 5x the number of subscriptions, or the submissions, I should say. And, and these fantastic people, all kind of, quote, nerds and techies, they had to sift through all the submissions. And so a big thank to the program committee for picking the best content for you. Can we give them a big round of applause, please? I'm assuming they're all here, but if not, just thank them when, when you see these pictures, OK? Um, also, a few other announcements. Uh, there is a schedule app, if you may, so please download it through the QR code. Uh, that'll be really helpful to get most of the uh, sessions going. If you have not met people and would like to meet people, there is a networking app, no pun intended. Uh, in the networking conference, there's a networking app to network with people, but you know, who cares? Just do that. It's been proven very useful in the past, so please do that. Um, and we really love your feedback. So every year, I personally go through the feedback. Obviously, the events team does. You can see slight changes we make. You know, everybody wants this or that, and we, we listen to these feedback uh, forms very, very carefully. So please give us this feedback on the sessions and, and on everything. Uh, and then the way the, the tracks are set up, um, there are five tracks, as you know, from the, from the schedule. There's a track on uh, innovation, so all the new stuff, what's going on. There's a track on... Uh, service providers, DevOps, and cloud, what's happening there. There's a track on enterprise and IT from a networking perspective. And then we added two new tracks this, this time. Uh, there's an edge track for the first time, and we've received some amazing content for that. And then there is a, a cloud native track. So there's cloud native networking, right? How does uh, cloud native come together? So please. Along with that, there are two unconference tracks. So this is the first time we are introducing something called a conference. What that means is you're going to bring, you know, if you have a topic and there are peers who want to discuss it, mark it up. You will have it published on the schedule, right? It's like on-demand speaking. So please do that. And uh, with that said, let me start off by, uh, you know, taking a very, very uh, short overview in the open networking brave new world of today. It's been about a year since we had this ONS last year, right? And we had three big questions in front of us. People were saying, ah, oh, but you can't do this. Oh, but this is a problem. Oh, but this will not work, right? Um, and so what I thought today we would do is we will bring in uh, the context of that discussion in what I call three myths in open networking. And I think we have debunked those three in one year. And it's important to note this is no small achievement. Okay? So let me go through the three myths very quickly, and you will realize what I'm talking about. Myth number one, telecom service providers have a legacy of 100 plus years. And so that's all that baggage is going to prevent collaboration, creation, and deployment of open networking. That was the big you know, headlines years ago, right? a couple of years ago, a year ago. Well, guess what happened? The, what happened was we started with virtualization. Then came disaggregation. So SDN and NFV paved the way 
to start thinking about the brave new open world. Then came automation, which led to orchestration solutions in complete open source landscapes. And, and we are today in the world of open collaboration, collaboration across multiple industries, multiple technologies, right? Multiple uh, markets. And, and, and so we're in a huge journey. And I'm not saying the first step of the journey is not done yet. We're, we're just traversing different markets are going at a different level. Let me show you some proof points. The collaboration was huge. We brought in nine of the 10 top open source projects all in one entity. We brought in operators to come together and start collaborating. We had all the vendors come in. These are just some example samples, right? That really pushed the button, right? We did not leave any networking vendor behind. And I think that's a big statement to make here on the stage. That's the collaboration. Once you have collaboration and creation, you move to deployment. And you have seen multiple of these examples. I won't even go through this, right? And on what some of the big carriers, small carriers, some of them we don't even know what they've deployed, right? So it's, it's just happening as we speak. There are challenges, but people are moving past those challenges, right? So the collaboration and creation have led to major automation, and they all want to do that because 5G is coming or has come, depending on your perspective. And then on top of that, the impact of open networking is completely global. And when we see diversity, diversity across people, diversity across geography, diversity across companies, that's a true mark of open source. If you look at projects on the right-hand side, these are just some examples. You know, the circles are just showing release after release, the colors keep increasing. Right? Open Daylight, for example, when it started to where it's now, very colorful, right? That means multiple people have contributed. It's, it's, it's a steady state open source project that is productized and deployed. So we're feeling very excited to drive this lever of open source. And where we need to do is do a couple of announcements, obviously, to take this to the final frontier. So the first announcement, I think, uh, will be put out is uh, in a year mark with LF Networking, which is the umbrella that is hosting some of this. We are announcing uh, what we call people certification, right? So there's a deep ONAP training certification where, uh, including several e-learning courses, where you can put your operation staff, your network admins who need to be trained on next generation of open source. Courses are available, certification is available. There's a commercial certification and an ecosystem that goes along with that to become a certified provider. Um, and, and, and along with that, there's a huge industry that needs to come together, which is across NFVI, Vim, Mano, and VNF. And what we are really excited to announce is an OVP program, which is a compliance and verification program that brings and expands the interoperability and the deployment challenge, okay? There's a lot more detail in the sessions on this, but this announcement is really exciting. It wraps up the final two stages of, you know, full-scale deployment. So we're excited about that. So don't tell us that we cannot collaborate, create, and deploy, right? That's kind of the first myth. The second myth, is standards and consortiums and open source will always compete. I hate to break it to the press, right, who love writing about it, but that myth is definitely debunked, and I'll show you why. We started off with a, uh, an appeal to uh, bring the two communities together. There were white papers published, there were governance changes, there were uh, collaboration entities. We brought the communities together, uh, to the credit of pretty much all the SDOs, uh, very, very proactive in how they came up together. Remember this slide? This is the open source world on the left and the open standards world. And let me tell you, only at ONS will you see a keynote panel which is so star-studded. This is a Friday keynote. You have MEF, TIP, 3GPP, Etsy, OCP, TM Forum, all discussing how 
successfully we have collaborated. Okay, and then there's a detailed session, uh, session where uh, you know, we'll all come together. So I'm just saying this is a very important milestone in the history of networking, right? And uh, we're really excited that. So for that, I want to give a big round of applause to our standards uh, ecosystem and the open source community. Can we just quick, quickly thank them? Thank you. And wait, but wait, we're not done. Ah, that was a poor man's version of Steve Jobs, sorry. Uh, Oran, you may have seen this announcement. You know, through 3GPP, another you know, standard SDO type of organization, we just announced the creation of a software community. The software community is going to come together and collaborate and build software. And that software is not just for ORAN, but it is also for collaboration across the ecosystem to give an end-to-end -end perspective of the entire telecommunication stack. So really excited about this, and you know, feel free to attend several sessions on this as well. Okay? Uh, finally, myth number three. And this is a little bit complicated, but I will start by saying that the myth was that every technology or a market, whether it's cloud, enterprise, telecom, or technologies like edge, IoT, AI, etc., all these things will never be brought together, okay? That's not true, right? We started off with edge. We brought IoT, cloud, enterprise, and telcos together in something called LF Edge. It was a huge collaborative effort from the community. And then what we are announcing today is the continued momentum. There are more blueprints as people come together to give out edge solutions optimized for their market. There are amazing projects that you all need to be participating. And there are consortiums, right, like Etsy, IIC, ACC. This is the automotive edge. We are collaborating, and we are starting off day one by putting it all together. So with that, I'm going to summarize and say all the three myths, collaboration, creation, SDOs, and marketing technologies, we're happy to report that we have demystified it. Right? Now, on the third one, I'm going to come back and give you some more directional guidance in my closing keynote on where we are heading. But for now, I want to sort of just say, Thank you for supporting this, and thank you for being part of this amazing journey on open source, open standards, and just open networking in general. So thank you. All right, so uh, with that, let's go ahead and start off by uh, introducing the first keynote speaker, uh, Dr. Feng from China Mobile. As you know, the largest network, uh, if not the largest. <laughs> uh, she's the chief scientist and general manager of AI and intelligent operations R&D. And uh, she's been there, and today she's going to talk about practicing network intelligence. So uh, before we welcome Dr. Feng, a short video will play, and then uh, please welcome Dr. Feng.